Hi everybody, it's Mike again with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters bringing you another video. I'm a licensed public adjuster in the state of Florida. If you have a question, need help with a claim, here's how you can get a hold of me. Today's video, solar panels for your roof in Florida. I'm going to give you three reasons why you shouldn't. One of the reasons is going to be extremely important and um, it, it's going to surprise you. So the first reason why you may not want to get solar panels for your roof in Florida is because of the wind factor. Obviously with hurricanes, tropical storms, tornadoes. And people we here in Florida, we underestimate how many tornadoes there actually are. So what happens with solar panels, let's say this is a roof. The solar panel sits up above the roof a little bit on these brackets. So as you can see, there's space. So when you have space, what's happening is that wind is getting underneath and it's over time slowly lifting up on that solar panel. And then this is going to lead into point reason number two. So it's constantly going to get this pressure of the wind uplifting and, and putting pressure on those brackets that are bolted in to your, to your roof. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and also like this video. So after the wind then comes all of a sudden these leaks and over time the strong winds start to take the toll on the brackets and those screws and whatever else that they've used any type of chemical as a salient to prevent water from leaking in there over time it starts to break that particular chemical barrier and now you're going to start to get leaks so this this could become a problem and it's going to become a problem when we talk about the number one major point here but so all this happens because again the pressure of the uplift from the wind over time starts to take a toll on these panels which have been secured to your roof all right so let's take a look at the top reason why you probably shouldn't get homeowners or solar panels on your roof. Because now, this article is based on just a couple weeks ago, August 15th. Some insurance companies dropping Florida customers if they put solar panels on their homes. Now this is going to be very important because as you guys have seen, there has been a push for people to get solar panels we're seeing more and more companies canvassing uh, neighborhoods trying to get people for these special finance programs and what have you and um, to, to net meter whatever they call it where you feed back your power to the uh, electric company but this here's the main reason why this happens so I had a a client a few months ago well no maybe it's been about a year who did have solar panels on her home now she needed a new roof in order for do for them to do that all the solar panels had to be removed that cost us eighteen thousand dollars for the removal this is why you're seeing the insurance company take a stance because they're seeing that more and more um, solar panels are going up in homes so the insurance company realized that the cost to remove these solar panels are going to be between twelve and twenty five thousand dollars depending on how many how many different um, panels you have um, so listen they're also doing this read this home insurance companies also dying coverage if the homeowner chooses to sell extra power the panels make back to the <laughs> Back to the electric company. 
So I'm not sure why they would be denying coverage for that. Um, here it is. Because of net mean, which is billing methodology is odd. Yeah, it is odd. Um, this issue is happening all over Florida, but now the rest of the company is a political. So far, we don't know where it's coming from, but I think it smells fishing. That's something that we are 100% investigating. Okay. So here's going to be the end result. Where there's smoke, there's fire. So I firmly believe that this is going to come make its way into Florida insurance companies' policies. Um, they may exclude it, put it in their policy, if, if somebody does have a solar roof, or they'll drop you. I don't know which way they're going to go with it, but where there's smoke, there's fire. This happened years ago with mold damage, where they said they were going to limit it. That happened. They said they're going to limit now water damage, which they have been extensively, $10,000. That came out as an article. So um, the other article that came before these new laws was the fact that they wanted to get a, a deductible thing, and then they also wanted to get the age of the roof to be depreciated. They didn't get the age of the roof, but they got the deductible thing. So I believe we're, we're going to see this. So I would be very hesitant. I'm not telling you guys you shouldn't. I'm just looking out for you guys and telling you nobody knows about this. So if you're about to get solar panels or you have solar panels, keep an eye on this. This isn't, this isn't good for people. Um, and again, it's the extra cost of what it takes to remove the panels and put them back on. That's what the insurance companies and the insurance companies know what we went through in point number one and number two, the wind, the leaks. It's a major problem, major problem. So again, my name is Mike Keeler. I'm a licensed public adjuster here in the state of Florida. And if you have questions, need help with a claim, would like me to represent you, here's how you can get a hold of me with my cell phone, 754-252-5438. That's how you get me directly. Also my email, and then here's my website. Thanks for watching this video.